hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another weekly check-in which will also double as my monthly closeout as it is now july and i'm just going to let you know what i spent these last four days of the month and then kind of go over my final numbers which june was a really good month for me spending wise but that is also because um, I was working with a very low income, so they kind of go hand in hand because obviously if I don't have a lot of money coming in, it's not the smartest idea to have a lot going out. Um, so my goal for July, as I will be moving either at the very end of July or the beginning of August, is to really focus on my income going up and my spending staying down, <laughs> hopefully. Um, I've been doing tons of spending on like furniture and moving stuff, but all of that is not coming out of like my weekly spending. That's all coming out from, um, our 100 envelope challenge that we did like in 2020, I believe. Um, also I unstuffed my Terra box to buy my office furniture because that is for me like specifically where all the other stuff is for me and George so it's kind of makes sense to spend the money that we both saved equally on that um but other than that I'm really trying to not spend money on random things that I don't need or even food really because that's where I tend to spend money is food so Sorry for the little ramble. Um, all of the stickers that I use are from my Etsy shop, which is always linked below. So feel free to head over, head over there if you want some. But um, I only had one transaction actually um, from my cash envelopes that I carry in my wallet which was a treat expense and that was on Monday. I went to CVS and I bought an ice cream, which I used a $5 like extra buck, which is basically just store credit. And then I paid $2, which was the difference. So it would have been seven. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And then I'm pretty sure this happened last month, but I literally have three no spend days and I have three no spend stickers, so would you look at me? But that's that. I feel like there's literally so much going on, and I really just wanna talk to you guys, so I think um, after filming this video and getting it up, I'm probably going to go live on Instagram, just because that's obviously a better platform for me to just chit chat and then you guys can also ask me questions or really interact with me in like real time if that makes sense so if you don't follow me on instagram already you can head over there because i'll most likely be live for a little bit but that's that let's go ahead and flip to my weekly check-in page which this is the original one but as you can see i ran out of space so i have the last week over here on the back so let's just fill this in so for gas i did not spend anything as well as fun or food so all of these are zero which will transfer over the remaining in a second and then treats was two dollars so here are my remainings before so i'm not going to transfer over gas because i've been doing that weekly if you watch all of my videos you're probably sick of me saying the same stuff but i do apologize it's just there's new people sometimes so we're going to transfer over the rest of these so i probably won't be able to remember because it's the morning and my brain doesn't really work too well but i'm pretty sure this is 37 then food, 
And then groceries is 72. 72. And then 11.33. So if we subtract $2 from that, it's 9.33. Three. So those are our ending numbers, which again, amazing. Love that for me. But um, in a sense of a budget, which is, I want to share this because I know when you're watching a video, it can be like, oh my gosh, look, like her budget was so good. She didn't go over all this stuff. But in reality, like I don't have the money to spend, which is why I'm doing so well in the sense of spending if that makes sense so here's my income page last week i got paid from etsy and uber eats but again this may look like a lot of income sources that doesn't mean it's a lot of income for each one i just want my channel to be relatable and relevant and i don't want you guys thinking like budgeting is always like so easy and perfect and all those things because I know when you're watching a video it can easily come off that way but here's my monthly overview I am happy with my amount of no spends I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so basically half spend and half no spend days which is really good we will fill this out in a second, which is basically going to be the same as my weekly check-in page, but I just want to walk through the rest of my pages first. So here is my sinking funds transaction log. I only had one transaction, which was $2 from my business um, sinking fund for some vinyl. Um, so in total this month, I spent $309 out of my sinking funds. And mainly that is from my Texas trip, which was $135. Well, the trip wasn't $135, but that's what I had in my adventure sinking fund. And then here is my supply list, which I spent $255 at Michael's and then $1406 on Amazon for some cello bags. So for the month, I spent $93.95. Then shipping, I spent $14.39 last week, which totaled $98.61 for the month. And then YouTube was just my sticker subscription, and you've already seen this. So now that that's done, we can fill this in, which I haven't been doing good with tracking. Um my savings which i could just go back and watch all of my cash stuffings to see how much i added but for the sake of this video we're just going to fill out my variable expense section so in gas i had to do hmm, this is going to be different this month so what we're going to do is just add up what I spent because I just did it a little different. So 45 plus 40 plus 40 is 125. That's what we spent on gas this month. Sorry if this is not the most satisfying way of filming this. So 125 which honestly isn't bad. I really expected that to be more, especially with um, working Uber Eats. So technically at the start of the month, I didn't know I was going to do like weekly for gas, but I have 100 here. So even that isn't that big of a deal. And then for fun, I spent $3, I believe. Yes. So I spent $3 is nothing and then groceries I spent do, 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 28 so there's that and then 
food we are gonna have to add up because you know so we had 1871 the first week and then 899 the sec third week and then 37 the last week which is 6470 which I'm pretty sure is the least I've ever spent on food in a month and again um or not again but I would also like to mention that this would not be possible if I didn't have George because he honestly pays for I'll just say all of our food at this point um and that's just because we obviously have very different incomes um but I hope for it to not stay like that because it didn't used to be that way um but you know we're changing and evolving and you know change is good so we're hoping for change again but we will see um lastly is treats which i'm gonna have to add as well so we add 24 22 plus 4 45 plus So thirty dollars and sixty seven cents. Thirty sixty seven. And I know I could just subtract what I had remaining from my starting balances. That's usually what I do, but for some reason I didn't do that this time. So now for sinking funds, this is how much I plan to add, and then here is what I spent. So these numbers don't really correlate, but that's okay. I just like to write it here. And then I did not have any unbudgeted, which we love to see. So I'm going to quickly add up this. So we had 125 plus 3 plus 28 plus 64, 70 plus 30, 67 plus 309. So five hundred and sixty dollars. Five sixty with thirty seven cents. And then I need to quickly do these, which I need to grab my red pen for. So let's do this. Starting off with gas, technically I was over by $25. Not worried about it. Um, then we had fun, 40 minus three. We're at 37. Then we had groceries, 72. Food, 55.30. Again, these are reflecting the numbers that are on my weekly check-in page. Um, treats, 9.33. Also, my writing is really bad because of the coils, so just ignore that. 392 minus 309. 83. And then we will go ahead and do this section. So we had 37 plus 72 plus 5530 plus 933 plus 83 minus 25. So that's two thirty one sixty three. So again, I knew my numbers were going to be great this month, and I am proud of myself. But you know, 
every month is different and next month is going to be or this month july is going to be very different because i'm moving and i'm moving out from my parents house which i've never done i've moved plenty of times but that was always with my family so this experience is going to be very different and me and george have never moved out like both of us so we need literally everything um which the good thing is we pretty much have or we do have i think all of our furniture that is 100 percent necessary even stuff that's not like stuff from my office technically isn't necessary but um i'm grateful to have had the money saved where i was comfortable buying that stuff so really all we're gonna need is decor which can come as you know time goes but yeah i know there will be a lot of changes coming but i'm so excited for them so if you guys enjoyed this check-in slash monthly closeout i know it was a bit longer than my usual um check-in videos but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all very soon in my next video bye guys